August 2025, NASA's live feed quietly dropped a single sentence. Unusual magnetic features, further analysis ongoing. To most, it was bureaucratic jargon, but to physicists, it was an earthquake. A comet, barely 11 kilometers across, behaving like a planet, generating a magnetic field where none should exist. Not Earth, not Jupiter, but an interstellar fragment, 3i slash A T L A S, bending solar wind as if wrapped in an invisible shield. The laws of dynamo theory shattered in one line, and for the first time, whispers spread. If Atlas is magnetic, then it's more than rock and ice. It may be alive. The Unthinkable Statement On April 17, 2024, a routine NASA press release broke the rhythm of space science. Buried in its sterile wording was a phrase that should never have existed in official channels. Unusual magnetic features, further analysis ongoing. That line referred not to a planet, not to Jupiter, not to Saturn, but to a cometary interstellar fragment, 3E slash A, T L A S. For generations, textbooks insisted only massive worlds, with molten cores spinning fast enough to act as dynamos could carve magnetic fields. Yet here, in plain English, a fragment just a few kilometers wide was apparently bending the solar wind itself. Inside NASA, disbelief cracked the silence. Dr. Richard Kowalski, an astronomer known for his asteroid discoveries in 2008, typed into his team's mirrored log files. This shouldn't be possible. His words carried the weight of a century of plasma physics. Small icy bodies like Atlas should be powerless against the sun's relentless stream of charged protons and electrons. They were supposed to sputter, not shield. But the anomaly was persistent, and the phrase magnetic field leapt from specialist journals onto news tickers by evening. The announcement sent ripple effects through the global astronomy community. By April 18th, forums from the American Astronomical Society to ESA's mailing lists filled with speculation. If correct, this would be the first ever detection of a magnetosphere around something not even the size of Phobos. Late night hosts joked about comets with force fields, but among researchers the mood was closer to dread. If magnetic shielding didn't require a churning iron core, then what other hidden mechanisms might exist in the deep interstellar dark? Yet skepticism was equally strong. Could the reading have been a magnetometer bug, a calibration failure, an Earth-based interference signal? NASA's statement avoided bold claims, but their very choice to publish anything suggested confidence. Scientists were left staring at the void between rules they trusted and the evidence they now faced. Atlas had opened a fracture in certainty, one too large to ignore. As the words echoed, laboratories from Pasadena to Tokyo lit up with frantic data checks. Teams pulled raw magnetometer logs, compared plasma wave files, and recalibrated ground sensors. A single anomaly could be dismissed. But within 48 hours, evidence began to pile into patterns. And soon, the issue was no longer whether 3i slash ATLAS might have a magnetic field, but how widespread the disturbance really was. The next chapter unfolded not in press releases, but inside instruments across Earth and space. Data Awakening The first domino fell on April 19, 2024, when multiple magnetometers operating across the deep space network flagged anomalies. At 2.14 UTC, a spike appeared in the plasma density readings at Canberra Station 43. Two hours later, Goldstone, California mirrored the same signature. These weren't background jitters. They were synchronized disturbances, all aligned with the projected path of 3i slash ATLAS, then still hovering at nearly 4.9 astronomical units. Teams rushed into calibration mode. Engineers rechecked their hardware, swapping reference coils, running baseline 72-hour drift analyses, and even simulating solar weather interference with archived 2003 Halloween storm data. But the anomalies refused to fade. The chance of simultaneous instrument error across three continents was dropping towards statistical zero. This was the kind of reproducibility that every scientist trusts most. Separate devices, different teams, same signal. By April 21st, consensus began to form. 
Plasma sensors aboard satellites like ACE and WIND confirmed bow shock disturbances rippling down the solar wind at velocities near 400 kilometers per second. These ripples weren't random noise. They were geographically consistent, all intersecting along Atlas's inbound trajectory. A hypothesis that once sounded like science fiction, a comet-bending solar wind, was now being logged in mirrored data servers. Still, the atmosphere was cautious. Some at JPL insisted on calling it a candidate anomaly, unwilling to rewrite decades of physics on one week's worth of evidence. Yet the rhythm of reports kept arriving, and skepticism eroded bit by bit. Atlas had refused to be a glitch. It was acting like something bigger than its mass allowed, a small body drawing the attention of an entire fleet of instruments. By late April, the anomaly had grown too large to dismiss. Ground stations could only confirm so much. What the science world needed was triangulation, multiple spacecraft across different vantage points, capturing the same disturbance at the same time. Only that could lift the mystery from curiosity into undeniable reality. And on August 18th, 2024, that very confirmation arrived. Three spacecraft, scattered across millions of kilometers, recorded Atlas bending the solar wind in unison. Triangulating the anomaly. At precisely 8.03 UTC on August 18, 2024, the SOHO Observatory stationed at the L1 Lagrange point recorded a bow-shaped disturbance sweeping across its plasma detectors. Ordinarily, such ripples appeared only downstream of major planets like Earth or Jupiter, but this one traced directly to the path of a small interstellar visitor, 3E slash ATLAS. Two minutes later, at 8.05 UTC, the Parker Solar Probe, then operating deep inside the sun's corona, logged a sudden magnetic spike. Its magnetometer captured a clean, sharp deviation, not noise, not drift, exactly aligned with the predicted flight path of Atlas. Veteran heliophysicists called it the sharpest mid-corona magnetic signature they had ever recorded outside of a solar flare. By 0811 UTC, a third data point sealed the case. NASA's MAVEN spacecraft, orbiting Mars, picked up particle deflections that shifted away from normal Martian magnetic interactions. The coordinates converged like a compass needle toward Atlas's trajectory. Three spacecraft, three instruments, three vantage points, all aligned within eight minutes. The odds of coincidence? Vanishingly small. Within 90 minutes, NASA convened an emergency call with mission leads from SOHO, Parker, and MAVEN, alongside data specialists at JPL. By 9.15, they agreed. This was a level one anomaly, NASA's classification reserved for events that directly contradict established physics. Atlas wasn't just unusual. It was rewriting the rulebook in real time. Confirmation brought no comfort. Instead, it fractured the community into camps. How could a body the size of a mountain produce magnetic behavior reserved for worlds the size of Earth or larger? Some clung to conservative models, insisting on induced effects. Others speculated wildly, fossil magnetism, exotic plasma shells, even alien engineering. The clash of explanations would dominate the weeks ahead, each theory trying to tame the impossible. That battle begins in the next chapter. Explaining the Impossible Once NASA confirmed the Level 1 anomaly on August 18, 2024, the floodgates of interpretation burst open. The first camp, largely anchored at JPL in Pasadena, leaned on conservative physics. Their fallback was induced magnetism, a process already observed in comets like 67 p churyumov gerasimenko in 2014. When the solar wind slams into ionized gases vented from a nucleus, thin plasma sheaths can form, producing miniature magnetic bubbles. But these were fragile, fleeting, and never powerful enough to mimic the bow shocks of planets. To explain Atlas, they had to stretch the model far beyond precedent. Across the continent, a different vision emerged at MYT's Kavli Institute for Astrophysics. A draft paper circulating by August 23rd proposed what became known as the remnant shell theory. Imagine three I slash ATLAS wandering through the remnants of a supernova shockwave sometime in the last few million years. Its surface could, in theory, 
soak up magnetized material, and carry a fossil imprint into the solar system. Under the right solar wind conditions, that magnetic husk might project outward like a true magnetosphere. The idea was poetic, a comet carrying the ghost of a dead star, but the mathematics demanded field strengths hundreds of times greater than those ever measured in meteorites. The clash grew fierce. Plasma physicists accused the MYT team of indulging in science fiction, while younger theorists accused JPL of clinging to outdated paradigms. Internal emails leaked in September 2024 revealed bitter exchanges, with one referee calling the shell hypothesis a fairy tale draped in plasma. Meanwhile, others countered that induced magnetism models were little more than denial in disguise. No side could reconcile Atlas's consistent, planet-like bow shock with established theory. By October, the debate spilled out of journals into Slack channels, conferences, and even late-night broadcasts. The consensus was not consensus at all. Either 3i slash A, T, L, A, S revealed a blind spot in plasma physics, or it hinted at something unprecedented, perhaps even artificial. In either case, the impossible had become a data point. Science's rulebook was wobbling, and Atlas was the weight tipping the scale. While professionals clashed in laboratories and conferences, another front of investigation was quietly opening. Outside the ivory towers of astrophysics, amateur astronomers pointed their telescopes at Atlas, collecting their own evidence. Unlike classified logs or embargoed papers, their data was public from the first moment. And what they began to see, tail flicks, sudden brightness dips, strange orientations, hinted that Atlas's story was even stranger than NASA admitted. The next wave of revelations would not come from satellites, but from backyards.